two professional fights, two professional wins. He's only 18 years old, taking on Guillermo Maldonado, who's only 1-0 and and his only pro fight was four years ago. Maybe he has a surprise in store for us. He'll have a five-inch reach disadvantage. And now, making his way to the ring, please welcome Guillermo, the locomotive Maldonado. His only pro fight, 2015, a unanimous decision over Bobby McIntyre. Sergio, he has not fought in 1,427 days. That is not good, but look, he is unblemished. He's 1-0, so these are two undefeated fighters, and one of their O's has to go. Grew up in Guadalajara, Mexico, the same place that Canelo Alvarez is from. So maybe he's inspired by what Canelo's doing and what he could do next week against Daniel Jacobs. And now, entering the arena, here is the young, undefeated phenom from South Central Los Angeles, Diego Pacheco. Interesting story about Diego Pacheco. He wanted to be a professional, Sergio. He's ready to fight. But in America, you can't have a pro fight until you turn 18. So what did they do? They sent him south of the border. He fought twice in Mexico and won twice. Here he is, 18 years old. A lot to learn. Those fights that you're talking about, the one in uh, Tijuana in his uh, past fight, he wasn't as impressive as he wanted to be. We expect more of him. He's a highly decorated amateur. We expect the most of him, but it's a learning experience, especially down there. Now he's in the bright lights here in the United States. And he is very tall, six foot four inches. Ladies and gentlemen, from the world famous forum here in Inglewood, California, we are set to go with a special middleweight attraction, and it's all being brought to you courtesy of Mr. Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing USA, sponsored by Tecate, the official beer of boxing and JD Sports. Introducing your three judges scoring this contest from ringside, Max DeLuca, Chris Migliori, and Dr. Lou Moret. At the sound of the bell, your third man in the ring, referee Jerry Cantu. And now, ladies and gentlemen, four rounds of boxing scheduled at a catch weight of 162 pounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, he stands with his head trainer, Michael Johnson. He wears black with white. He scaled 159 pounds. His young professional record, a perfect one. One fight, one victory. Fighting out of Seattle, Washington, introducing Guillermo, the locomotive Maldonado. Maldonado. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the blue corner. He stands with his head trainer, Rudy Garcia. He wears the blue with silver. He scaled 161.8 pounds. His young professional record, also a perfect one. Two fights, two victories, one of them coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of South Central Los Angeles, California. Pacheco. Right here, a little high, but right here, gonna be legal. Gentlemen, you are giving your instructions in the dressing room. I want a good, clean, hard fight. You will obey my commands at all times. Touch him up, good looking, Mosby. Four rounds, gentlemen. Eight time national champion, Diego Pacheco. Looking to show off his goods as a professional for the first time in his hometown, Sergio. That's big time right there. Everyone wants to ready? fight under the bright lights. Ready? And right here, it's such a classic arena at the forum. Play. Couldn't get better for Diego Pacheco. Diego Pacheco in the blue and silver. Guillermo Maldonado in the black and white. Scheduled for four. Ooh. This may not Good go shot. too long. That right hand caught him. Boy, Pacheco headhunting right out of the gate. I already see a 
Complete difference from Pacheco's last fight. He's fighting behind the jab and at a distance. He's not falling off balance, but everything is starting with that jab. Good start here by Diego Pacheco. Oh, nice uppercut. Straight right, straight right. Another straight right. Boy, he's got a lot of fans here tonight. Pacheco admittedly said he didn't fight that well in his last outing down in Mexico. Blamed it on being sick. Said, I just didn't have it. But he's got it tonight and has already rocked Guillermo Maldonado. This is what I expected to see from a prospect like Pacheco, an eight-time uh, Mexican national champion. He's fighting behind the jab. He's poised, going downstairs, beautiful uppercuts. Great right hands like that, not getting overly aggressive and falling off balance. This is a professional fighter now in Diego Pacheco. Looks like there's already blood coming out of the left ear of Maldonado. Look at that. Everything's like in slow motion for Pacheco. He's on dipping, left, he's ducking. Oh, left hook! How is Maldonado still standing? He may not be anymore! Face down, lights out! Diego Pacheco, his second knockout! That's the Diego Pacheco we expected in his last fight. All good. All good. You all right? All good. What a performance in his hometown. You could tell five seconds into this fight that Guillermo Maldonado had absolutely no chance. Diego Pacheco gave him no chance because when you're that tall and he's fighting behind the jab and he was getting caught with uppercuts, you know how rare is it for a tall fighter to land uppercuts on the shoulder opponent, but Pacheco couldn't miss tonight. That was a performance that we all were expecting in his last two fights. He's doing his best not to smile, but it's not working out so well. <laughs> there he is. There we go. We got him. He's only 18 years old. Played varsity basketball, was really good, but his dad said, listen, you got a decision to make. And here's a replay, and it's gonna be all Pacheco. There's the right uppercut I was talking about. Beautiful left hook, everything was landing on Pacheco's part, but he wasn't getting carried away, falling off balance. That right hand just put him out. But before all that, the kitchen sink was landing on Guillermo Maldonado. right on the chin right there. Head bounced off the ropes. It's stoppages like that. You don't even need a count because just he dropped like a sack of potatoes. The referee knows. We all knew it was over. He'll remember this night for the rest of his career. Fighting in his hometown, his first pro fight in the United States and with a sensational highlight reel knockout like that. David Diamante makes it official. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout comes to a halt at 1 minute and 46 seconds of round number one. Your winner by knockout, he's still undefeated from South Central Los Angeles, Diego Pacheco.